Hello everyone, here we go with another video to improve your words. There are again three words that we're going to revise. Word number one, paraphrase. To restate, to put what someone else has expressed in different words. Word number two, reproach. To blame or to criticize someone in a way that shows that you are disappointed at what they have done. And word number three, negligible. Insignificant, unimportant to have any effect. Our word is creed. Creed. C R E E D. Belief. Professed faith or opinion, especially a system of religious belief. Synonyms include doctrine and dogma. In many democratic countries in the world, it is illegal to discriminate against someone based on race or creed. Belief. Creed comes from the Latin credo, I believe. The source of the English word credo, also pronounced credo, like the Latin. A credo is a declared set of beliefs or opinions. Credo and creed are synonymous. Credo is the more learned word, usually reserved for a formal declaration of belief. Creed is used more generally of any professed faith or opinion. The Latin credo is also the source of incredible, not believable, credible, believable, and credulous, C-R-E-D-U-L-O-U-S. Credulous means inclined to believe, willing to accept something as true without question. Credulous and gullible are synonymous. To a credulous person, even the most outrageous tall tales seem credible. The origins of the word, as I mentioned before, are in the Latin credo, I believe, one specific to the Christian faith, but by the 17th century it was used for many different faiths. Companies, societies and disciplines might also adopt a creed, as in a political creed, a national creed or a management creed that lays out a particular belief system or way of doing things. Creed C-R-E-E-D a creed can be a form of doctrine or system of beliefs for a church or religious group, or it can be a philosophy or personal set of beliefs.